Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson we will be talking about invitations. Well, we all get invitations sometime or the other for a function, for a party, for a wedding and many other things. And sometimes we need to invite someone in a proper way for lunch, for dinner, for a party or for a wedding or anything, any celebration. How do you respond to these invitations? How do you accept the invitations? And sometimes you may not be able to accept the invitation. How do you express? So these are the things we are going to learn in today's video lesson. Let's get started. Now the first thing we are going to do is to learn some expressions to invite someone. For example, would you like to join us for lunch? Would you like to join us for dinner? So this is one way of inviting someone for lunch or dinner. Another way is how about going to a movie? How about going to a movie? Or how about joining us for lunch? How about joining us for dinner? You use the expression how about. Now what is the meaning of how about? How about expresses a suggestion. You are suggesting something to the other person. So this is also one way of inviting someone. You can also say, would you be interested in joining me for a movie? Would you be interested in joining me for a movie? I would be delighted to have you with us. I would be delighted to have you with us. What is the meaning of delighted? Delighted means happy. It's another way of saying I would be happy. You can also say it would be a pleasure to have you at the party. It would be a pleasure to have you at the party. And if you're talking about a wedding, if you're inviting someone for a wedding, you can say request the pleasure of your company at the wedding. You can even put these words in writing. Request the pleasure of your company at the wedding. Other way of saying it, I'll be happy if you could join us. So you are saying that you would be happy if you could join us. Now let's look at some more expressions. You can also say, are you free tomorrow? You could come with us for the picnic. Suppose you are planning a picnic and you want someone to join you. You can say, are you free tomorrow? You could join us for a picnic. Or you can say, we are going to the temple. Would you like to come? Here in all these invitations, you are putting it forth as a suggestion. You are not forcing them to come. You are putting it across to them in the form of a suggestion. So that they think about it and they decide and tell you what they want to do. The next expression could be like this for a wedding. My wedding is on the 12th of this month. I will be happy if you can make it to the wedding. My wedding is on the 12th of this month. I will be happy if you can make it to the wedding. What is the meaning of the expression make it? Make it means come. I will be happy if you can come. A better way of saying it is I will be happy if you can make it to the wedding. Then we can also say we'll be pleased to have you at the function. Now pleased is another way of saying we'll be happy. Now you can also say please come in. When somebody comes to your house you need to invite them inside. Please come in. It's nice to see you after so long. The person feels very, very happy on hearing this, isn't it? So say, please come in. Please be seated. It's nice to see you after so long. Now, another expression. We would be happy to have you as a guest on the special occasion. If you want a chief guest, you want to invite someone as a chief guest to a function, you can say, we would be very happy to have you as our chief guest or we would be happy to have you as our special guest at the occasion. So these are some of the ways we can invite someone 
for different things, different things like a small celebration, a party, a wedding or maybe even a function which you're going to have where you want to invite someone as a chief guest. I'm sure you like these expressions. Now let's look at how we can respond to the invitations. We are going to look at some expressions. The first thing you can say is, thank you for your invitation. So that's the basic courtesy you should show when someone comes to invite you. Then you say, I would like to join you. I would love to join you. Thanks for inviting me. So this is another expression. The first thing is, the first expression is, thank you for your invitation. Or you can say, I would love to join you. Thanks for inviting me. Or you can use other expressions like, that's a great idea. If somebody is inviting you for a picnic, then you can say, that's a great idea. Sure, thank you. If somebody says, would you like to come? You can say, sure, thank you. Or you can even say, with pleasure. It's an expression of happiness. And the other person feels very happy when you accept an invitation. And you can also say, many thanks for inviting me. Many thanks for inviting me. I will surely join you. I will surely join you. Isn't it very nice? Another expression you can use is, it's very nice of you. I will surely make it. It's very nice of you. I will surely make it. What does this mean? It's very nice of you to have invited me. I will surely make it. Maybe to the wedding or to the party. So these are some of the ways in which you can accept an invitation. And there are some ways you can also refuse an invitation. Suppose you have something very important. You have some very important thing to do on a day when you are invited. You can politely refuse it. You shouldn't say, no, 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 I cannot come to the uh, party. No, I cannot join you. This is a very impolite way of answering. This is an impolite way of responding to an invitation. So how should you respond to an invitation when you don't want to accept the invitation? Now let's look at some expressions. I would love to, but I have something very important that day. What does this mean? I would love to join you, but I have something very important that day. So first, you say that you're very happy with the invitation, but you have something else to do that day. Another way of refusing an invitation is, thank you for your invitation, but I'm afraid I will not be able to join you. Thank you for your invitation. First, thank them for the invitation and then say, I'm afraid I will not be able to join you. What is the meaning of I'm afraid? I'm afraid means I'm sorry. It's another way of saying that I'm sorry. Next, you can say, I'm sorry, I cannot come with you. I'm sorry, I cannot come with you or I cannot join you. Then you can say, that's very kind of you. That's very kind of you, but I won't be able to join you. That's very nice of you. That's very kind of you, but I will not be able to join you. And then you can say, I'm sorry, but I have an appointment with my doctor. I'm sorry, I cannot join you. Because I have an appointment with the doctor. Or you can simply say, I'm sorry, but I have an appointment with the doctor. These are some of the ways in which you accept an invitation or politely refuse an invitation. So I'm sure you have learned the expressions. Now we are going to look at two conversations for using expressions in a conversation. You will understand it better when you read the conversations. Let's get started. Let's now look at the first invitation. It's about accepting an invitation. Are you free this evening? Yes, I'm free. How about joining me for dinner? That's a great idea. Shall we go to Green Park? Sure, what time? I will finish work at 8. Could we meet at 8.30? Done. See you. Bye. So this is an invitation which is accepted. 
Now let's look at another conversation where you are refusing the conversation, you are refusing the uh, invitation very politely. Let's now look at the second conversation. This is a conversation where you politely refuse the invitation. We are going to Ramoji Film City. Would you like to join me? When? This Sunday. I would love to. But I am expecting some guests. Maybe some other time. How sad. We will really miss you. I will miss you too. Do have a good time. Thanks. So this is an invitation to some place called Ramoji Film City and the other person is not able to accept the invitation. He says it very politely and at the same time wishes them a good time. So this is how you politely refuse an invitation. So in this video lesson you have learnt expressions to invite people. You have also learnt expressions about how you can respond to an invitation, accept an invitation or refuse an invitation politely. And we have also looked at to conversations where we have actually seen how we can invite people and how we can respond to invitations. And from now on, you can start using these expressions in your day-to-day -day conversations. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. We'll come back with more videos very soon. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.